Hi guys, so I've got another sword review for you and today I'm going to be talking to you about Reguigné and their feathers. So, this sword in particular belongs to my friend and it's <laughs> loaned to me until my other one gets replaced. Uh, I'll talk to you about that another time because uh, that's kind of a fun story. So, Reguigné, uh, huge, huge uh, company in terms of feathers, swords. Um, extremely popular, you know, one of the main brands that you look to for shopping for a new feather. You usually would look to Reigny. Um it's, it's, it's a very big company, very successful um, because they make good swords and they're, you know, well made and they last long. So that's why you go for Reigny because you're going to get a good product. So I'm going to weigh this first before I babble on. Now, consider this is a custom design, so it's going to weigh a little different from the actual feathers, uh, the standard feather. So this is 1,540 grams, which is fine. That's uh, absolutely okay weight. Fine for me. Um, I've had... Uh, a sword in the past that weighed a lot more than that and this is quite good um, weight wise and I shall now measure the blade the blade length the, all these measurements are on online on the uh, um, on the website Reguigné so um, if, if you uh, did want to check it out and you can also get custom lengths and and things like that um, so uh, yeah anyway so the the blade length is 100 and cent, uh, 100 centimeters and the cross guard is roughly it is 25 centimeters um which is a little personally that's a little short for me i prefer almost up to a 30 centimeter cross guard um but that's fine you know it's, it's perfectly okay and the grip length, if I shimmy this along a little bit. So the, the pommel will add a little bit, uh, will add a little bit more handling um, and add a little bit uh, of grip. Um, so it's about, so the, the grip that's actually corded is about 26 centimeters. Let's double check that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just under 26 centimeters. Um, and then the pommel, in this case, is a scent stopper pommel. Um, or pear shaped, whatever you want to call it, will actually add a little bit more grip length to it um, because you handle that that pommel. Um, I'll just set my tape measure aside here. Okay, so again, this is custom. Um, what has been customized? So it's a wide shield. Um, it's a little uh, wider than the standard, and we've got a ringed uh, cross guard here. Uh, which is interesting, you know. Um, I don't really recall many long swords having uh, rings, um, especially in, in the 15th century, but they existed for sure. Um, I will probably look at my photos and bring up some images of long swords with, a, you know, ring cross guards. Um, uh, off the top of my head, I can't really remember any, but I'm sure there are, and I'm sure I've gone into some museum and gone, hey, after a photo, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Anyway, those are pretty much the two things. Apart from that, it's a sta standard feather. So we've got, uh, you know, like a cord black um, grip, and we've got a pretty much a standard pommel here, the pear-shaped or scent stopper type. Uh, the peening is fine at the end here, is actually really quite clean, very well done, actually. In fact, it's quite smooth as well, so it's not going to nick on anything. Um, sometimes sword makers will just go bam, 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 and I'll be at the end of it. Um, in this case, you can see hammer marks, but it's... I think it's been um, polished off a little bit, so it's not going to snag or anything or clip you uh, at all there. It's, it, there's no issue there. Now, I wanted to talk you to you a little bit about the cording on, on these. So 
They're really good. So obviously they've got a good grip, quite abrasive. You've got, you're not going to slip or slide anywhere. But also they last quite a long time. Now when you do fight with long swords, it, you're almost guaranteed to get hit everywhere, you know, at some point. And at some point you're going to be struck in the point in between your hands there. And it's going to go straight, you know, metal onto cord. Um, usually that snaps and frays. But in this case, yeah, it's dented and it's received a few hits here and there. And I've had to glue down some fraying areas. But I, I do HEMA two to three times a week. And it's going to happen. Um, you're going to get struck there. And it survived really well. So... Whatever Reginier use on their, on their grips in terms of their cord, keep doing it because it's good and it's well fastened. There's no uh, loosening at all. Um, and they've done a good job on it anyway. So it's, it's, it's a good grip. Um, and in terms of ergonomics, um, it's, this is a standard. So you can get different types of grips. You can get the wasted with the ribs. Um, you can also have leather um leather wrapping you can get cords in different colors so you can get two colors on your cord grip this is a standard this is the bog standard grip um and it's shaped well so it's quite rounded to the bottom here but at the top here you've got a good sense of um edge alignment um it's bulges out slightly towards the middle of the grip um and then it wastes down towards the cross guard and there's it's, it's shaped like a, a flat oval if that's a word um, so you've got a really good sense of edge alignment there's no issue there so that's good um, in terms of uh, the shilt and the weight and where the point of balance is so the point of balance is right on where the shilt finishes there there you go so that's probably about two to three inches um i'd probably say about two and a half inches ish maybe three um i'm pretty bad at guessing in terms of length there uh in centimeters i would probably say that's nearly 10 10 to uh, it's probably about eight to ten centimeters something like that uh, I'd probably say that's bit, uh, yeah, not not ten. That's a bit too much. Probably about. Oh, you know what? I'll get my uh, tape measure out. That's that's me less faffing about that instead of. Um, oh, I was pretty much correct with eight. So it's about seven and a half. The point of balance there, um, and the reason why it's a little further uh, towards the cross guard is because you've got the rings on here. There's making more weight onto the handle here so it's going to the, the the point of balance is going to shift towards more the handle um i would say if you've got rid of these rings and you have the standard um the standard type of cross guard it would travel out a little further here um so anyway in terms of flexibility yeah uh, it's, it's absolutely fine again this is a standard feather and they're good products you're gonna have nice flex there you're not going to be able to do that in on on somebody's chest you, it is very rare that it bends that far um and by the way it stays true all the time it's, it's gonna it's a spring steel so it's gonna flex back to how it was it's never gonna bend um unless you really really bend it all the way around you know but why would you ever want to do that um but you know if you're gonna thrust against somebody it will flex it's not gonna kill somebody it's not going to go into somebody um so there is an element of give there however really good on the bind um because of the shape of the blade um and the heat treatment and its and its flexibility it's great in the bind you can do all kinds of manipulation here and that's what i enjoy doing with the uh, well i do it as much as i can anyway um i'm still learning um but you know in terms of binding against a sword you can feel the bind you've got good authority in the bind it's not going to give or flex away from somebody else's um uh, blade so that's good okay so i shall set that down here 
and then I'll get my gloves because I just want to demonstrate to you um, what it's like having gloves on um, because that's important um, there's no point in buying a sword that is really crap with gloves on because it's going to change the dynamics of um, handling so I've got my sparring gloves on here here we go and it feels fine it feels absolutely fine I've got my hand here almost based hand on on the pommel here and it gives me a good sense of where the bottom of the uh, bottom of the, the sword is there and I've still got good edge alignment now the rings on this cross guard it becomes quite hard to put my thumb onto the shield unless I really want to jam it in there and I don't want to do that while sparring I just want to place place it onto the shields um, and why would I want to place it onto the shield is because of uh, you know if you want to do a thwart cut say the spurch how back edge cuts you're gonna have your thumb on the shield all the time going across to that um, which you have to really jam your thumb in there and to be honest I don't like that um, so uh, if it was up to me and this sword belonged to me I would hang on I'll just set these down okay if it was up to me I would end up sawing off one of these these rings um, the rings are good I mean in a competition these are fine um, they're not too big too extravagant or anything like that um, they do work in terms of catching the blade down the flat and things like that. Um, but they do occasionally get stuck in somebody else's sword, um, which can be annoying. Uh, of course, the thumb on the, on, the, on the end there, I would end up cutting one of these off so I can use one side um, and then have uh, just one ring on the other. Um, but again, this is not my sword, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, right. I just want to go over a few pricings and things like that numbers and Important information again. Yeah, so this is a custom design the price will vary um, But we've got a wide shield uh, with the ring cross guard So the ring cross guard depending on what polish you want you've got between 8 and 31 euros now this the the, uh, the type of steel this is using so we've got a 5.1 CR V4 spring steel and the, the heat treatment, so like the hardness, is 49-51 uh, uh, um, HRC. Uh, we've got a production time between 12 to 14 weeks and I'm sure Regine will notify you when this is ready to be shipped. Shipment varies depending where you live in the world. Um, it can be from 40 euros. You'll get a one year warranty and that's fine. You know, these swords will last you a really long time. You've got to look after them though. Um, these aren't things you can just shove away and leave it um, and then use it. And you, you have to look after your swords. I'll go over that in a minute. Um, so overall, it starts from 197 euros. Now, when you start adding shipment and you start adding your custom things that you like onto, because you can add all kinds of custom things to these these feathers, you really want to save up almost a three hundred euros, I would think, um, to get a you know a good bracket of what you want. Um, so again, yeah, the price varies. Um, okay, now looking after your sword, which is really important, you need to store it well. Uh, a, Snowboarding bag is fine. Um, uh, if you've got a, an actual sword bag, that's great. Um, you need to store it in a, a nice dry environment, somewhere that's not going to have moisture. So in your house, maybe not the garage. Um, and you need to look after the metal because it will rust. All metal rusts. Um, and you're going to get scrapes and thumbprints and dings and all kinds of things on this sword. Um, you know, occasionally you might need to file down the cross guard because there may be burrs. Um, but 
when this was given to me, uh, obviously my friend had put this away for a while, so there was rust on here, so I'd have to give, give it a really good clean. Um, and it's looking very happy now. This sword is, is nice and jolly and bright, which is what you want. Um, but make sure you polish your metal um, and look after the handle. Mind if there's fraying, glue it down or you might end up having to replace this if, if you know the the cording um, if it does snap and start to fray and go away because um, that grip is very important for your handling and ergonomics um, so yeah just look after it it's, it's quite easy every once in a while give it a good polish down um, give it keep it dry um, don't put it in any wet environments um, or anything like that. So yeah. Anyway, Regine, good sword. Uh, I've I've used this loads, this sword, and to be honest, I've had no issues at all apart from that ring um, for the uh, doing the thumb grip. Um, but I'll leave it there. Uh, I really recommend looking at Regine. Um, they're a great company um, and they produce very good quality swords. So yes. I shall leave it there and uh, I shall see you on the next one.